Let's talk about growth in your relationship, how you are growing with your partner. So mm-hmm. in today's podcast, Sissy and I, we're going to talk about some of the ways that, or some of the things that we're doing to make sure that not only we're supporting each other, but we're growing and we're focusing on things that helps us. Yes, sir. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Hey, Bristol friends, welcome back to another episode of the Bristology Podcast. I am your host, Cece, and I'm joined by my husband. Hey, babe. Hey, this is Will, and welcome to another episode. Glad to have you. So if this is your first time with us, please remember to subscribe and hit on that notification bell so you can be notified when we put out these videos. Now, this is a weekly podcast where we talk about... We talk about love, love. Y'all know what we talk about here on this podcast. All about love, relationships, family, politics, hopefully. No? No? Okay. <laughs> so, yes. Um, so, welcome back to all of our followers, all of our viewers. Welcome back. And um, as you guys know, before we get into the topic of the day, we like to jump into our blissful moment. Babe? Uh, what's you know my blissful moment? You. What is I got a oh my popping... God. Bracelet? I won't call it a watch, but it tells no time. <laughs> it's not a watch. Um, a gift a watch from my um, my youngest daughter. Actually. Oh, she gave it to you? How yes. nice. Um, so I'm wearing the popping bracelet slash watch, I think. Um, the only thing is it, it, it keeps on buckling, so I think I may lose it. <laughs> Your wrist is too big. That's what it is. No, no, it, it fits. It, it fits. Actually, I have like. Can you? Are you gonna wear holes. this to go to work? Yeah, I think I'm going to. <laughs> well, you know, there, there, was, there was a year that they had given me a pink bracelet. I wrote it. I, I wore it for Ooh, like. Ooh, there was a year yeah. that you actually let them pinch your nails, y'all. It was the dopest moment ever. Was it last year or the year before? It was last year. My, my mom was shocked. <laughs> my daughters were like, "Let's just." Paint daddy's nails and he let them. Why not? He let them. He let them paint his nails and your mother. And then we went to. Um, yeah, we went for dinner with my mom and she was like, Really? <laughs> Why is your nails pink? I feel like your mom was like, Okay, what's going on here? Are you trying to come out? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, here's the thing when you have daughters, sometimes there's little things they do uh, to spend time together with you. And yes. sometimes it involves you wearing. Unusual bracelet. Guys. Or getting your nails painted. No, you, you have to be good with yourself to do that. I, I, I went to work with it, I think, once, and then I got rid of it. Listen, when my husband get home at night, especially on the weekend, I feel like on the weekend they really take advantage of you where they want to put barrettes on your hair, <laughs> headbands, and it's the little one, though. She likes to do oh, these just things earlier, on she, you. She put her headband on me. She yep. has a glittery. Is it a glittery? Is that what you say? Glittery headband? Yeah. It has a little sparkles. Yeah. Yeah. Like, take that off my head. Was it last week? Last Monday? She was like, Daddy, laying in bed and I'm going to comb your hair. And so I put little, you know, hair clips on his hair and headbands. And I was like, wow, this is what's going on here today, huh? I mean, it's the cutest thing ever. I feel like when you have kids, Especially girls. Sometimes they do things to you. They do. And I think she loves doing that to you. And she thinks you're a big Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> and you let her do it. So therefore, it is a great Listen, moment. I, I, you know, the little bit of time that I get to spend with them. Hey, they can hang out with me and do things. I just have to make sure that I don't, don't forget it and put my suit on and go to work. And my hair's <laughs> all messed up. <laughs> But hey, listen, when you have kids, sometimes you'll find yourself doing things that are a bit unusual, but it allows you to spend some time with them and bond. Yes. I'm raising girls. I need them to be able to be good with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good I agree. I agree. Okay. <laughs> Calm down, baby. You have years to go. Okay. You have years to go. Calm yeah, down. Yeah, but, but it's been good. So yeah, this this week, it's my... um. Popping bracelet. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, I'm not screwing up the name. <laughs> and it's colorful, and 
I don't know if my body will have any reactions to it, but I'm sure they use good plastic for these things. So, oh my god, here yeah. it goes. You so bougie. Huh. I feel like this man is so bougie sometimes. It's like, okay, I don't think I should have worn this because it doesn't go with my skin color. Listen, she or- had a reaction <laughs> to an Apple Watch bracelet. Well, yes. So, people can have reactions to unusual plastic. Okay. What's your Me, point? I'm, I'm good with everything. So, I don't think I'm going to have any issues with this. You're yeah. just bougie. You're just a bougie. You're anyway, just that's so my bougie. blissful moment. That's my blissful <laughs> moment. Don't be criticizing me. You know, I, I'm, I'm, let me be. I'll let you be because this weekend, what we're going to be <laughs> is home. <laughs> we have a wedding this, this weekend. We well, this home. weekend we do. We are working this weekend. It's not like we will be invited to a wedding. We actually. We're shooting a wedding this weekend. We are. So, therefore, what I'm trying to say is Monday is Memorial Day, which is oh, a day oh, off. Monday. I was going to say. I will not be anywhere on my laptop. I lie. I will be on my laptop because I have a whole lot of stuff going on. So I don't know what's going on. I don't have any plans, but I know for sure I'm looking forward to, you know. Well, we're going to have a long Saturday, which means the Sunday and the Monday. Most likely we'll take some time to rest because we... We, we're going to be spending eight hours photographing and videographing a, a, a wedding. So yes. Saturday is going to be a long day. Eight yeah. hours? Like from, from two until 11 o'clock, honey. Well, That's yeah, not eight should, hours. We stay late. Because, like, <laughs> mind you, when we do weddings, we go to the hotel and spend, like, two hours there and mm. then go to the church and then the reception and then we're there until midnight. So from two o'clock until midnight, we, like, out. Yeah. It's it's gonna be a long every night. wedding. It's always like that for us. It hasn't been where unless if no it. No, actually, we haven't done a short wedding. Recently. We had um before COVID. We had a wedding in November. It was like a daytime wedding, which was perfect. Well, yes, I mean, we, why we, don't people marry in daytime? Like it. It was the, good for us. I mean, we were home by like eight o'clock. o'clock. By eight o'clock, we were home. Well, we had to pick up the kids, and yes, yeah, we were home. We were home every by eight wedding o'clock. Should be like that. <laughs> It was perfect. I was like, oh. Yeah, we got home. and it was like, We got home. We were nice. relaxing. And, and, and it was like yeah, but still this daytime. It's going to be long. But yeah, I can see why you're looking forward to it the, the weekend. I am. And the kids are on a break. The kids are on a break, which has happened way too early this year. I don't know. I thought they were going to be in school until next week. Okay. Mind you, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, I was like, okay, the kids are going to be out the first week of June. Mm-hmm. And then last week, my daughter's like, uh, no, <laughs> we are last day of school is Thursday. And I was like, no kidding. And they're like, yes. Yeah. So they're going to be with me this summer again. Or maybe go to summer see. camp. But yeah, actually. I know they weren't, but hopefully we can find spots to get. Yes, get we'll see. If not, I'll just put them to work into the phone, you know, email the clients. They can make calls. Call the clients, email them. Yeah, have them do your follow-ups. The little one is great on the phone. The oldest one was great with, with words and typing. So, listen, I'm going to put them to work and pay them. A dollar an hour. And uh, What? Yeah. <laughs> listen, you never know. They might think it's a lot of money. The little one might think it's a lot of money, but you never know. But, yeah, I am looking forward to the summer. I'm looking forward to... Them being home, as you guys know what's going on in the world, it's crazy. Having the kids be under you, it's great protection. Um, but for the parents to have to go to work and send the kids to summer camp, all we got to do is pray over our children, right? Absolutely. You know, yes. it's, uh, it's, it's important to cherish every moment you get to spend with your yeah. children. Um, yeah. Every day we get in, we're running into events that helps us realize that a lot of the things that we take for granted can mm-hmm. be taken away from us in a second. So learn to be nice to each other mm-hmm. and learn to value what you have. So yes, my daughters, they can mess with my hair as much as they can. And your nails. And my nails. <laughs> and I'm good with it. You know, because yeah. um, things are difficult. Mm-hmm. And I know many parents are going through a very difficult time. So yeah. Now and then, yeah. Uh, help God's giving them strength as they, as they write this critical and difficult moments in mm-hmm. their lives. So my heart goes out to all of these parents yeah. in Texas 
and everyone around the world who's going through some difficult times. Yeah, absolutely. So absolutely. let's get into the topic of the day. Yes. Yeah, so what are we talking about, baby? What are we talking about? Uh, let's talk about how we are growing or the importance of growing together with your partner. Are we growing? I think we are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I think we absolutely grow. I think so, too. Think of what we've done over the last. Think of how I. Yeah. Yes. This podcast is an example of how we've grown. Perfect example. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know, there, there was a recent study that was done and they realized that many couples mm-hmm. stays in a relationship. Right. For for the wrong reason. And yeah. the stupidest reason I've heard is that the stupidest reason they stayed because they don't think the partner can handle the breakup. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, we, we all get in relationship thinking that it's going to last mm-hmm. forever. Yeah. You know, and yeah. well, that's a good reason to get with someone. You want to make sure that you, you believe that you're going to do whatever you can to make right. it last. Right. However, there are some things you may run into where the incompatibility is so much that it's just not going to work. Right. True. And, and sometimes, it, as difficult as it may be, you mm-hmm. have to learn to face the facts. So if you don't think your partner can take the breakup, yes. why suffer? Yeah. Just don't get it. Exactly. <laughs> I just don't get it. It's just the way you ask the question. I just don't get it. You know, another mistake that people make, sometimes they get together with people and, and they don't expect things to change. Mm-hmm. They, they kind of, they, they want whatever they used to do 10 years ago, they should still be doing the same thing. And people will change, including the person who doesn't expect mm-hmm. the change, have changed themselves. Yes. Let- and, Go yeah. ahead. And sometimes when you change, you grow, you change. Sometimes the change itself increases the gap between you and your partner's Mm -hmm. goals and visions in life. And that bound to happen sometimes. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So um, it's okay to ask more in a relationship. I was just about to ask you that. Is it okay to ask more in your relationship? Because you have to grow. Well, we, We have to want more. Who wouldn't want more? That's the wrong question. Some people <laughs> want to know more than what they have. But but it's okay to want more. Mm-hmm. And if you're in a relationship where the more that you want, you can't get it. Or yeah. the partner is not willing to work with you to get more. Or if you're doing things to help you get more, the person that you're with is weighing you down just so you don't. Mm-hmm. You got to remove yourself from that relationship. You know, that's why it's always good to find your partner who has a goal or vision of future. You know, I was telling my husband that him and I were very driven. We have like dreams and goals and we are tackling all this stuff. My husband have been doing so many things behind the scenes. Yes. Y'all may not see him do a whole lot. It, you know, <laughs> it's the work. Um, um, for corporate, but yet he has a whole lot of growth that happened. I mean, the the will that I knew ten years ago that's not who he is now. And, and you know, and that's the natural evolution of us as human. We we have to want to do more. We have to be willing to do more. Right. Yes, and you know, some of the biggest mistake that people make is. Sometimes things are not changing, but they keep hoping that it'll change. That's the problem. <laughs> That's the problem. So we can't be in the same relationship if it's, if it's like, okay, I'm growing and you're not growing. Then mm. we have to balance each other out, right? That's the point of us be together. We in this together to grow. And if I'm like, if we are on a scale and we need to be going like this, yeah. it can't. it can't be like, I'm up here and you're down here, then what are we doing? Yeah, and, and, and that could be reason. And this is this is why speaking, having conversation with your spouse or your partner about yeah. your life goals is important. Because mm-hmm. those are very important discussions. I've known many couples where in order for one to get ahead, the other one kind of have to stay, like keep that yeah. consistency while right. they push the other right. to get ahead. So in that, in, in that front, you may find one may be more driven, 
but the other one is staying down yeah. just so they can make sure that the household responsibilities are handled. Right. But if it's a discussion that you have, that's the plan you want to mm-hmm. put together. Yeah, it makes sense to go that way. So what, what you find if one is like out there doing, you know, busting their, their butt trying to get things done and one is just being lazy. I mean, lazy. Soon one's going to say, hey, no, no. <laughs> if I'm doing all this, you're doing none. It's just not going to work. And that will be the source mm-hmm. of problems. Yeah. So, and this is where we need to sit in. And, and I know we've had tons of conversations about how we do things, where we go, what we need to do, how we're going to do it. She calls me out on things that maybe I'm not doing right and says, you got to do better. But, but, but all of these conversations are important to have because at the end of the day, it helps us iron things out, make sure we know what we need to do and where we're mm-hmm. going. Now, not everyone's going to be like us. We're, we're different. Right. And other couples may have different things that they want to do, different ways they push each other. We happen to be going down the entrepreneurial route. So my goal is to keep pushing my wife and her goal is to keep pushing me because at the end of the day, when we succeed, we both benefit. Mm-hmm. However, and for any couples out there, the first thing is that you got to talk about your goals. And goals could be financial. It could be career. But it could be um, your household. Do you want to have children? Um, uh, but where do I want to live? Do I live in a gated community? Do I want to live in the projects? All of these right. conversations are important because if your goals in life are different, mm-hmm. it's going to cause problems. Yeah. At one point, she wanted to have 10 children, and I said, no way. And she understands. <laughs> He's so crazy. <laughs> no, that's a lie. <laughs> Just four. Four. But God says, you know what? I'm only going to give you two. Well, I asked God for two, and thank God he only gave me two. <laughs> <laughs> but, yes, um, I truly feel like, um, and sometimes when you're with your partner, they can hold you back, right? You want to move up, but then you have one who's not willing to do anything to grow, yeah. right? And I was actually listening to this podcast where this listener called and said, well, I'm with this, um, you know, my boyfriend is so lazy. I don't know what to do with this guy. I love him, but he's lazy. He's not willing to want to go back to school or do anything for himself. Um, and she didn't know what to do with him? And I'll she's, tell her what to no, do with No, she's like, I talked to him. I even have friends talk to him to see how we can get him like get off the couch and go back to school or do something. The thing is they have they have children together and then it's hard for for her to kick him out of the house because they have a kid. They have two kids together. So therefore, it's like, what do I do from here? Because he's not willing to do well, anything. The biggest for question himself. would be, did he just become lazy or was he always a lazy guy? You know, here's the thing. Based on what she was saying is that he got comfortable. So when you are in a relationship with your partner and you know that prior you had a job, you were doing so well at your job. And next thing you know, you decided to, I'm not going to work anymore. And she keeps taking care of him. And then she keeps she taking allowed him care to be of lazy. him. So true, true. <laughs> so therefore, it's like, okay, he's comfortable. He doesn't want to go back to work. He just want to be home. She should stop and, feeding him. And I mean, he's hustling. He has a few things he's here oh, and then, there, then she but call he's the man lazy. But he's not doing. He's not doing the thing. He's not like putting all of his effort behind okay. his business or behind whatever that he's doing. But he's like, but she's like, one thing I want to make sure is that I'm with a partner. I'm with someone that's willing to do whatever it takes, you know, to okay. help us out. So laziness happened in every. Even marriage, right? Oh, yeah. You could be with someone that you married and they just don't see any education for themselves and they just don't want to grow. And you're like, okay, I've done X, Y, Z. What else can I do? I mean, I feel like I'm very driven, um, you know, with certificates, my bachelor in in, in recent my recent um, accomplishment, which is my license in real estate. So that's great accomplishment. And my husband done so many things. This man has a master's degree that just hanging somewhere in the where house. It? Where I, I, it's, it's he needs to start house. making money from this master, okay, <laughs> from this degree. But it's very good to have 
a driven partner, someone who's like, all right, what are we doing today? Right? Let's go oh, yeah. and get the bag. Oh yeah. And 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 we all motivate each other, you know, because if, if one is doing and and what we both understand the importance of doing, it it causes the other one to want to do as well. Mm-hmm. But but we do have to sit together and talk about the importance of doing. Oh, I sit together. My husband's tired of my husband tired of me sitting together. I don't even have to sit. Sometimes <laughs> I'm standing and she's like Oh, I was thinking, and I'm like, okay, there we go. And then, I- <laughs> come on, baby, you cannot lie here. Don't say that my me saying I was thinking. My thoughts are be good, y'all. Okay, my thoughts are wisdom thoughts. Okay, my thoughts are wisdom thoughts. Like my husband sometimes be like, hmm, that's a good idea. And my thoughts sometimes it's like I would I would have this vision about something, and we put our mind well, together here's, here's the thing um she she will envision stuff mm-hmm. and my responsibility <laughs> is to work the mechanics of it to make it work and so far it's been working she'll think of some crazy thing it's like i was thinking and i looked around and see what do i have <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and this is what i mean we 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 we, we work together in a way that if she has an idea, I look for ways mm-hmm. to make it work as opposed to turn it down. Yeah. Now, I've grown years ago. I used to be, hey, this is not going to work. Yep. You sure? But I've learned better. Yep. Yeah. So, and that doesn't mean everything we've tried always work either. Oh, my God. No. Because kids are really, <laughs> they think they, we try like, jeez. Well, what were we thinking? <laughs> <laughs> but if we do it anyways, But right? you know what? That, that still helps us get closer with each other we mm-hmm. can understand each other and yes if the thing doesn't work when you tried it we tried something else and she'll wait a couple of days and she'll come <laughs> over you know i was thinking <laughs> <laughs> believe me some great stuff came out of those i was thinking i told you i have wisdom of thoughts <laughs> i don't know if that's something but yeah i do i yeah, do so, so you know Find ways to to be on the same page when it comes to where we're going. And you need to have a partner like that. Like, hey, babe, I was thinking, you know, you need to have a partner like. That's who, always thinking. Who, right. It could be something crazy and you bring it up to your partner and you may have a partner like my husband who's like, okay, let's see how we can implement this into what we're doing now. Or let's see how your crazy idea is going to work. So, or, you know what, I think that's so crazy. We're not going to work it. At least, you know, we talk about it. So it's good to have a partner that's like, who's constantly thinking of ways of growing um, either business or personal development, right? Yeah. So it's it's good. Listen. Now, there's one thing that we used, we used to deal with. I remember there's a few things that I wanted her to do. And based on her comfort, she will turn them down. And I'm the type that, you get upset today, I tell you this. Don't think that because you get upset, I'm going to completely forget it. Yes. I'm going to come back to it. <laughs> True. <laughs> you getting upset with me over something that I think is good for us. True. Yes. I'm not going to aggravate you where I cause you to have a heart attack on me, but I'm going to let you be for the time. And then I come back to it until you get it. So I'm persistent in that front. <laughs> you know, and we can take this podcast, for instance. This was an idea that was boiling. And yes. We pushed it, we pushed it, and now we, 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 we've, we've had it. And that goes for a number of things because mm-hmm. Cece was the type, she's better now, that if, if, she, if there's something she doesn't want to do to get you away, she'll get upset. And then, but she realizes that you can get upset with me over something, <laughs> but if I think it's important for you <laughs> or for us. Well, here's the thing. It's like, it's my comfort, you know. Yeah, she gets aggravated. I... And it's good for me to be out there and do it. And I notice that when I do it, I get something out of it. Of course. Because, you know, like we grow when we stay within our comfort zone, we don't grow. So if I was still like, don't want, didn't want to do this podcast. It would never I, happen. I feel like I probably would still be how I was a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. So persistency is important. And when you see something that's important for your partner, you do what you can to help them understand and help them see that they have it in themselves to do it. I'm very persistent. 
I think yeah, we're both far. She is. She is. She, she, she. Oh, no. Can, I push my husband like can, over she can, the she edge. Can aggravate me sometimes. I push you. If I see you have, you have this in you that you can accomplish greatness, you can do more. I am one of those people that I'm going to push you. She'll nag over you. Over the bridge. She's over nagged the, me. I'm talking about. <laughs> But it's good for you. It's actually a good nagging. It has. I mean, um, as as we set our plan for the year, one thing that we've always included is don't let my irritation stop you from encouraging me to do something mm-hmm. that's good. Yeah. And yes, we all have gotten irritated when we don't want to do something. Hey, face it. I know I have. And yeah. She has. When you don't want to do something, you want to get this person away, you show them you're irritated or you find reason. Sure. And one thing we've promised to each other, if we know something is good for mm-hmm. us, don't let that irritation stop you from encouraging yes. the other person. And, that, and that's that's been helping us. Yeah, you know? I agree. And, and one thing that's important, we have to pay attention to the the patterns that we've created in our relationship because there are some patterns that are crazily unhealthy. Yeah. When we find that there's, there's there's patterns that we've created in our relationship that are unhealthy, we we, we got to look for ways to resolve them. Yeah. And part of this is to point out what it is that that we're doing, what what behaviors mm-hmm. we're involved in. That that's mm-hmm. say for instance, if um if a partner is is not the type that 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 helps around the house. While one is working hard, the other one is just sitting on the couch watching TV. That's not the right thing. If you can land a hand, land a hand. Well, yeah. <laughs> right? Unless if you like the partner that works all day and the other partner is home and don't do nothing. Yeah, I mean, just there, watch TV all day. There's circumstances under which it may make sense. Right. But if it doesn't and you feel, you know, that's, that's something that we're doing that's not healthy for mm-hmm. the relationship. You know, or right. if you have habit of staying out crazy late. Where you leave your partner yeah. wondering what yeah. you're doing, and you never right. have a straight answer or good reason <laughs> as to why you're late. Those are some of the patterns as we create, as we notice that they're happening. We gotta address them, and because I, I guarantee you, when these things continue, eventually it's gonna become the one thing that that causes one of the partners mm-hmm. to just blow out and says, "I'm done." <laughs> when you could have yes. taken the steps necessary yes. beforehand to fix it, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And you know, there's gonna be bad days. Bad and, days. <laughs> and I feel like sometimes, you know, bad days are becoming bad cycles, right? Oh, yes. So you gotta find a way. Like me, for instance, I would get upset over things so easily, but I realize that I have so much growth in me. Where now, like, for instance, I can give you a perfect example. Last night, my husband and I were on the laptop. We were both on our laptop working 1130 at night, almost 12 o'clock. And he said something to me that could have easily pissed me off. And I was like, okay. I didn't even know what I said. I got upset a little bit. We were looking at something on the computer. I think I was supposed to say this. And I said oh, that. Oh, 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 and he oh. knew what I meant. Okay. He knew what I meant. But he just being like this. Y'all know what I'm thinking right now, <laughs> but <laughs> yes. And I was like, you lucky. I'm I actually, uh, changed or I've grown where if it was back then I would be like, you know, I forget you. I'm going to bed. But because I have this maturity mindset now where I'm like, okay, it is what it is, whatever. Let's just go back to it and then start. Let's work on whatever we're working on. So, yeah. And, and this is where, I mean, like you said, bad days are bad to happen. There are there are there are things that will happen where you'll get upset. Believe me, mm. I'm not always smiling. No, but, and you don't want to get them but, upset. But where where the bad days become the the bad cycle is when every little things yeah piss you off become an issue. Yes. you know, I I burp two miles away from you, but because you heard it, you got pissed. Or whatever it is that's like so much. <laughs> well, you wouldn't hear it if I burped two miles away. But that's me saying that when when it becomes every little thing is a big deal, mm-hmm. that's a problem. Because that, that's a sign that, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm getting, 
I'm, I'm, I'm getting fed up with your gun. <laughs> I can't stand you anymore. <laughs> I don't say I can't stand you, but sometimes I'm like, babe, listen, this is too much. You know, you got to either work yourself or work something out and stop doing what you're doing. You know, sometimes as, as, as human, I feel like there's habits we got to let go of. Passing gas, you mean? That too. I don't pass gas. My husband has a lot of habits that I feel like, <laughs> babe, you're not five anymore. And you've been doing these habits for a long time. You got to grow. <laughs> you okay? I've grown. So there's a lot of things that I feel like you still do. You still like the burping, the farting, the, you know, the hmm. There's a lot of things that you know that. You know that. But but he does. Uh, again, he's probably working on it, but it's gonna take him a long time. <laughs> but, but you know what? This this <laughs> doesn't get us into what we would refer to as a bad cycle. So I'm talking about where things like this that she mentions that I do becomes the subject of arguments. Mm-hmm. We, yeah. we don't get to this, point, but when you realize that things that are so simple are causing your your spouse and you to get into like crazy arguments, and after you realize, really. We'll over that this. and then you keep arguing over it like it's it's like it's, it's happening on a daily thing mm-hmm. that's a problem because that's a sign that yeah I'm, I'm, like I, I can't stay enjoying it. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm done <laughs> i'm done and, and and you gotta pay attention to these little things because as you see them you gotta you gotta get yourself in a position where you can sit yeah. and kind of look you know discuss this right. is what's been happening where are we heading? Right. How do we deal with this? Because right. at the end of the day, if you don't tackle it that way, mm-hmm. to start looking at it, okay, it's a problem that that's that's growing. How do we solve it? And yeah. it gets to the point where one's gonna say, "Forget you, <laughs> I'm out." For real, yeah. yes. So another thing that's important to look at in your relationship as well is is do you find that when you are with your partner, you feel like you you're being drained? It feels mm. draining. And and it's unfortunate, but it does happen. And, right. And, and you find just spending time with this person drains you out. Now, it's usually if you sit together, you're probably talking about either boring stuff. Right. Or, or you can't find things to talk about. Mm. Or you're arguing over anything. So interactions like this, if you find that you're constantly having them, that's a problem. It is a problem. It is a problem. Like, if you feel like you... You're just not happy to see your man anymore. Like, yeah. you know. Or sometimes it's the treatment. When you're around this person, they treat you a certain way. They make you feel dumb. Yeah. That's something. Because I know there's this partnership where one think that they're the sophisticated one. Mm. And anything that the other person come up with, they right. turn it down. They dismiss it. You don't know better. I know it all. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I mean, True. I know in our community it's common that the man just take the role and they roll with it. The woman has no say, but get the kids ready, cook, and clean. No, sir. You know, Not any important here. decisions, I kind of make it for you. Not here. If you find that you have no opinion in the relationship and you're being treated like you are insignificant, that's a problem because that drains you out. And believe me. No one wants to feel unimportant. That's a I red flag. I, no, I don't. That's a red flag. I'm telling you. I was raised the my the way my parents are. I feel like my mom is not like that at all. And your I mom, am so your glad. mom is like so outspoken. She will tell you. I am so glad, and I feel like there's a lot of traits I'm actually start noticing that I the way that we talk. I kind of sound like her a little bit. So I do speak my mind, which is what she is. She's a, she has no filter. She will let you know what's in her mind the way that it is. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, too, you really have to don't ignore red flags in any relationship. You got to make sure you keep an eye for those red flags. So sometimes you're looking for them and they're like right there. Yeah. Right there. And you and this is why it's important to pay attention. Pay attention to how things are happening. Mm-hmm. Pay attention to your feeling. Um, you know, sometimes we worry so much about our partner's feeling, but pay attention to your yeah. own feeling. Yeah. Yeah, because if you're not well in the relationship, 
something's about to happen. Yeah. Make sure you're good. Then once you're good, make sure your partner is good. And your partner needs to make sure that they're good. And make sure you're good afterwards. So mm-hmm. so it's important to pay attention to the red flags. Is you know, in every relationship, there's always there's always opportunities to fix stuff. Oh yeah, absolutely. However, if you ignore those things that needs to get fixed, it'll get to the point where you cannot fix it. Mm-hmm. And believe me, when things cannot be fixed, yeah, if you're in a relationship, there's no children, there's no long-term commitment, like marriage, you can easily break away and go about your own way. Right. You know, one thing I want to mention is that when you talk about you being drained, right? Like you, you feel like being together is draining. It can also be because you outgrow the person that you're with, right? Yeah. You outgrow them. You don't feel like our conversation now has value. We just don't talk about, you know, more exciting things. We just keep talking about the old stuff. We just sit here and talk about, did you know what so-and-so did and you're not interested anymore? You talk about people? Oh. You just want to, like, learn about crypto or real estate or what's going on in the business industry. You want to talk about business. I mean, it's, you don't want to be talking about business all the time. But you feel like our conversation now, like the way we talk now, it's just don't have much value or interest. So therefore, it's like, okay, we don't really have much in common as much anymore. Yeah. So you feel like, hey, all right, let's watch a TV. Let's not talking or (laughs) (laughs) let's see what else is on Netflix, you know. Uh, But you definitely need to keep an eye on those red flags. I mean, those are very important. And when you grow, it's actually going to be so hard for your partner to just, you know, be at that level where they're not willing to grow with you. And it's going to it's going to definitely show in your relationship for sure. Yeah. And, and, And growth. Is important because any one of us that gets together, we're looking to get to the next level. And all of these things, it's important to pay attention because all of those are things that will take you off your path. Mm -hmm. All these things are things that will get in the way of you being able to fulfill or achieve whatever crazy ideas you have. Right. So if you can make sure that you deal with these, and obviously if it means pulling away from a relationship, pull away when it makes sense. Do that because at the end of the day, it'll help you mm-hmm. maybe help the person that you're with. Because sometimes yeah. it could be what you're doing that's holding this person back. Hey, so, yep. So, so be mindful of how your relationship is working and have a regular conversation around what we want to do, how we want to do it, mm-hmm. and what role each other plays in us getting there. Because at the end of the day, it allows you to constantly be in, in sync with each other. Right. Not competition. I, I, I think, yeah. No, if you're competing with your partner, that's a problem. Now, that could be a source of motivation. Because if I see you do this, I want to do better. You get to the point, as long as you're not fighting each other, you'll be good. <laughs> but, but you know, all these things are important. Because when you're two people living or building something together, mm-hmm. you got to have some commonality amongst you. you got to have an objective that that somewhat intertwined where we can all focus on things that's important for the relationship. Whatever it may be. It may be yeah. money. It may be career. It may be, it may be the number of children you want to have. Whatever it may be, you have to have some 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 ways that you both come together and know that's what's important mm-hmm. for the family so this is our podcast on growing with your partner and keeping an eye for red flags that may be getting in the way yeah and i don't think we have any red flag left i've um, i've taken <laughs> them all down so thank you very much for joining us and sticking together with us until the end she's laughing because i took the red flags down. <laughs> Sure did. (laughs) And we appreciate you guys joining us and and listening to what we think are some of the things that gets in the way and how we can get them out of the way we can grow together in our relationship. So if this is your first time with us, please remember to subscribe and hit on that notification bell so you can be notified when these videos come out. Remember to like the video, share. drop us some comments, yes. share with whomever you think it may be beneficial to. I or think just anybody. Even, or anybody, like she says. And subscribe while you're watching. Like she says. We have a lot of people watching but not subscribing. Like she says. What's going on?
Like she said. <laughs> but we appreciate you for watching because the views have been going up and I appreciate you and thank you, YouTube. I'm always going to say that for allowing us to have this platform to share our experiences and our knowledge with you guys. So thank you very much. Please remember to check us out on the audio channels, Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio. Tune in radio. Tune in radio. Shopify. People on the shop on Shopify. So, but we appreciate you guys. And again, thank you for listening. And we'll see you next Saturday. Peace. Peace.